Washington, July 14th, 1861. The Civil War has just begun. Major Sullivan Ballou is writing a letter to his beloved wife, Sarah. He has a strong feeling he will not survive the next battle. Forgive my many faults and the many pains I have caused you. How thoughtless, how foolish I have oftentimes been. How gladly would I wash out with my tears every little spot upon your happiness and struggle with all the misfortune of this world to shield you and my children from harm. But I cannot. I must watch you from the spirit land and hover near you while you buffet the storms with your precious little freight and wait with sad patience till we meet to part no more. And then the battle began. And Sullivan rode on his horse into the battlefield and he saw the faces of his brothers. He saw the pain, the fear, the rage and the sorrow. And when death reached out for him, he thought of his Sarah. And before he closed his eyes, he whispered her name. Fly over the fields, over the pine trees, over the hills and the lakes find your way home and know that we are forever inspired by the bravery you showed by the honor in your heart and by your beautiful words of love Four years later, the war was over. Around 620,000 men had lost their lives, fighting in the name of power, wealth, and freedom for all. President Abraham Lincoln was shot dead five days after the war had ended. But the South and North were now united in a country, built on the sacrifices of men like Sullivan and his wife Sarah. Sacrifices given so future generations could live in peace with all their brothers and sisters. <laughs>